up beautifuls, this is Zeromi here, and welcome back to Heartful Chance, where our last episode was kind of a tearjerker, because it seems like Kohi was telling us to forget about whoever we loved, if they're loving someone else, which uh, I, I honestly thought he was going to confess to Emmy that he likes her, but he went out through all that trouble to write herself her own love letter, but it doesn't seem to be that way. So, let's actually continue on with the story. I really want to go home. Alright. But, Emmy. Huh? I'm happy to get to know the love letter, princess. Even just for an afternoon. Yes. I I'm, I'm so happy to know you better. I have to go home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. And thank you for everything. You're always welcome. We separate our way separate ways. <laughs> our ways on earth. And I feel like the dreamlike day is over already over. He already has a love letter that I wrote. And he can give it to her special girl to, to his special girl anytime he wants to. If I have magic powers right now to rewind this day and replay every moment that we are together over and over again. I have gone home feeling very tired. But even though I call up Mr. DJ I really need him right now. I sit beside the radio and dial the phone. Hello, Mr. DJ. Hello? I called again, the love letter princess, remember? Of course, I can never forget that voice. Oh, what happened to you and your special guy? He must be, en <laughs> he must be enjoying this very moment with her, his girl. So, why are you calling? I just want to thank you for that advice. And patiently understanding me. And to all of your other listeners out there. <laughs> I know that all of you don't even know me. But all of you all, but all have already heard my love story. And I'm sorry that I failed it. And I'm sorry I didn't have a happy ending. It's okay my dear, it's my job. But it's over now. I know that I must give up. It is sad, but this is reality. Well, it's your choice. I wish you the best. And don't hesitate to call our hotline anytime you need to. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I already gave up. I think there's no chance for us. It's over. It's over. Tomorrow is already Valentine's Day. Instead of happiness, I feel sadness. I can feel the emptiness of the corridors because I feel that Kohi is now happily with his special girl. <sighs> From now on, I will convince myself to forget him. It's enough, Emmy. Everything is enough. It's over. I should stop thinking of him over and over and over again. I should focus on what I'm doing right now. Our teacher's not here yet, so I gaze around the room. I stare at the door and I see Kohi. He's walking again in the corridor with blank facial expression. Wrong timing again, because how can I forget him if I see him every often, very often? But, what should I do now? Ignore him. Don't talk. Don't. Don't call him. You're trying to get over him. If you're calling him, you, you still obviously care for him. But, we're not trying to care for him. I better ignore him. Because I don't think it will make sense if I, if I will still talk to him. We are not even friends. He just came to see me because he needed something. That's all. I go out for our of our classroom to breathe some fresh air. Because a few minutes from now our class will start. You're looking down the corridor, doing a long silent monologue again. Hey? Eh? Oh, Henry, annoying me again. What's the matter? And since I've met you, I always saw you sad. Oh, It's none of your business anymore. I'm just taking a breath out here. And not to talk to strangers like you. Okay, okay, okay. Um, anyway, you're the love letter princess, right? Yes. Oh my god, you're gonna tell me to write you one too. I'm gonna be heartbroken. I heard about you. You're the famous love letter princess. Um, yes, that's how they're calling me. Old fashioned. Uh, old fashioned? We, hear we have emails now, we have a social networking sites. Love letters are absolute. So your problems are not are next to none, 
no, no sense, nonsense. But, in my opinion, you can convey real emotions through real love letters than you would in emails. I still listen to the radio, watch old movies and anime. For me, that's okay. Okay. Duh, you're an old-fashioned crying girl. Call me old-fashioned, I don't care. Yeah, right. So, tell me, what's the matter? Why are you always so sad? I thought you said you don't talk to strangers, Henry. I'm not telling you why. You know, turn that frown upside down. Enjoy your life. I know he's saying this because uh, I guess he hasn't fallen in love yet. But his words bring out sense in me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> See? I have a heart, you nosy girl. Noisy girl, not nosy. But still don't act as if you're an awesome if you're as awesome as the radio advice program that I'm listening to every night. Okay, okay. I'm not here to compete with the radio advice program you're addicted to. I'm here because I just want to know if you're really the love letter princess. Why do you want to know? Well, it's secret. I have to go now. I still have my class. Thanks again, Henry. No problem. He grins at me and walks away. I wonder why he wants to know if I'm really the love letter princess. Anyway, I looked at the sky again and realized that tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Oh well, Valentine's Day is just a simple day. I shouldn't even think about it. Today is Valentine's Day and as usual, it's just another regular day for me. Maybe I'll just play dating simulator later. <laughs> dating simulation later. Seems, seems normal, I guess. I guess. Or eat my favorite. Eat at my favorite ice cream parlor alone. Well, that's pretty sad. I don't remember what I did on Valentine's Day when I was single. I don't remember. But now I have Tyler, so that's all that matters. For you single people, sorry. You can, you can always like overindulge in chocolate. My friend would buy herself chocolate and give it to herself. Like she buys it before the day and she writes on it. And then in the morning she's like, oh, thank you, me. You know, that. that. <laughs> I realized that I shouldn't be sad. There are lots of Valentine's Valentine activity for me to do. There are a lot of things that I can do to be happy. Okay, I shouldn't convince myself to be happy. I know I'm not. In the campus, I see several schoolmates of mine who are excited to f excited and finding love letters inside their lockers. And some others are happily getting chocolates from their admirers. Oh, they look sweet. And right now, I'm just an onlooker, watching them all. I'm just a mere audience watching everyone. What is Kohi doing right now? Because since he asked me to write the love letter, he hasn't been talking to me. I'm sure he already gave the letter to the girl he likes. Maybe they're eating chocolates together. Hmm. Well, I'm alone here. <sighs> hey, Emmy. Happy Valentine's Day. I never expected Henry to come to me this early morning. Happy Valentine's too. Oh my, I got lots of chocolates. Want some? Of course, pretty boy gets chocolate. <laughs> Henry shows me a bag full of heart-shaped chocolates. Don't be shy, get some. They're free. No thanks. I'm sure those chocolates are tainted with poison because many girls want to kill you. What do you mean? Maybe you're just jealous because you haven't received anything. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got no room to be talking smack right now, okay? Emmy's in like a sad state of her life. <laughs> okay, I guess you haven't received anything yet. The love letter princess has completely forgotten this Valentine's Day. So sad, you're making me cry, yo. But seriously, did you get anything? Anything from someone? None at all. I'm not expecting any. Get out of my way and leave me alone. Hey, you should not frown like that. Today is a special day. Why should I? Because of chance? You know, there's always a chance for something right to happen when everything else seems to go wrong. False hope is what you're saying. Okay, it's up to you, but always remember to always be open for possibilities, and never close the door of your heart. What, are you cute with number two? <laughs> Good luck. 
Aw, I thought he was going to comfort me. Really sad. He leaves me alone. I keep silent. But deep inside, I want to thank him for giving me advice. But I guess I will just stay here. Because I'm really sad right now. I mean... Has something happened? No, no, no. My boyfriend gave me a teddy bear. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> That's nice. And our teacher is absent today also. I guess she is going to have a date too. <laughs> By the way, Kohi has been looking for you since this early morning. K Kohi? For what? I don't know. But he's looking for you. Okay. So, happy Valentine's Day, my beloved friend. I have to go. Okay. <sighs> oh my, everyone is busy. I just sit at my desk and look outside the window again. My classmates are not in the room. This is very unusual. But I just sit here doing nothing. Emmy. Kohi. Happy Valentine's Day. Kohi walks into our classroom. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. How's your day? I guess your special girl has already gotten the letter. Um, not really. Why? I can't give it to her. Huh? You will just get. <laughs> you will just have to give it to her. Be casual. You're a guy, remember? But, but, I can't write her name. My pen penmanship is so ugly, and that could ruin your beautiful letter. Lettering. Okay, okay, I get it. Just give me the letter and I'll write her name for you. I take out my pen and grab the letter from Kohi. So, what is her name? Um, what? I don't know. What? <laughs> you don't know the spelling of her name? Yeah. Um, but... You should know the spelling of her name better. Huh? My name? It means I'm Kohi's special girl after all. The most beautiful letter I have ever written is actually for me. Emmy, it took me days to muster this... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it took me days to muster the courage to do this. But I want you to know that you're the special girl that I've been mentioning ever since. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? <laughs> but why me? I mean, um, why did you ask me to write this for you? I was almost upset the last time that we were eating cotton candy and you told me that you already had a special guy in your heart and you told me that he's your first love I guess I am no match to him but still, I am making a crucial de decision today and I'm sorry the last time that we did your 100 item homework actually those questions were quite easy <gasps> oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh! But I just said they were difficult so that we can hang hang around a little longer. Oh, yeah. Aww. Aww, you're so cute. <laughs> and I'm sorry if there's a time that I pretended that I forgot your name. And lastly, I can't forget the first time we met. That moment was so awkward. I guess that is what they call love at first sight. I don't really know. And... Because I heard that you're the love letter princess, and every love letter you write works like magic. I want my love letter for you to work even, even though I'm not your first love. I know it's not right to ask this, but can you forget your first love and take the chance with the present? Oh my gosh, are you a Casanova or something? <laughs> no, the guy that I was telling you about is no other than you. What? You're my first love. I'm your first love. Y yeah, but this is not an anime, right? It is impossible for a famous guy to fall in love with an average girl. There are popular and beautiful girls here in school who are your match. Huh? Who told you that you're an average girl? Besides, being <laughs> besides from being the love letter princess, for me there's no no one else who's more popular than the girl who captured my heart in an instant. And that's you. So, are we... You said more than enough. My answer is... My answer is... Is... <laughs> She's like contemplating. My answer is yes. So, it means... Are we... 
Yes, we are. Aww. I guess Henry is just the side thing they threw in. He's not really someone to capture. But honestly, this guy won my heart once he started talking to me. <laughs> Koei kisses me tenderly. I feel his warm lips press gently on my cheeks. My heart skips beating for a while. And everything seems to move in slow motion. I know this is not a dream. This is reality. Because even in my fantasy, I never thought that this would happen. This will happen. And I realize that everybody's right. I'm the love letter princess. And each love, le love letter I that I write works like magic. Even this love letter that I wrote for myself. But I guess from now on, I can know I can happily step down from my princess. I want to reserve every single sweet word only for Cody, my first thought. I've never felt this happen. And it all happened by chance, by coincidence, by one heartful chance. However, our class will start anytime soon, and we have to go back to our classroom. But still, I can't believe what happened. That he's already my boyfriend. And I feel so happy. Ouch. Oh, sorry. You stepped on my foot again. You're staring at the sky again while doing monologue. Um, sorry. Something about you has changed, huh? Nothing, nothing. You look so happy right now. Um, yes. Um, I had the happiest Valentine's Day in my life. I told you, you must think positive. Always. Thanks. I guess I'm not here crying like a baby cat again. Yeah, right. By the way, I just wanted to ask you, why are you always talking to me? Since your problem's already resolved, this is the time you know the truth. He was the, the, the guy, the radio guy. What's the truth? Um, I'm the radio DJ you, you're calling every night. I knew it. I wanted to be with him though. Damn it. What? Well, I'm so intrigued about your nightly phone call to my program. And we are very surprised because the rating of my radio program rocketed because of your love program. That's why I decided to help you personally. Well, I can't help that much. But at least I help uh, but at least help think help you to think better. And I'm so surprised to know that you're actually my schoolmate. What? You're Mr. DJ? Yeah. No, you can laugh at me. Because I have the cheesiest job in the world. No, I'm just so happy to meet you in person. Can I have your autograph? <sighs> Duh. Thank you so much, Mr. DJ. I mean, Henry. You're welcome. I can't believe that everything has turned out better than I expected. Today I realized something very special. I realized that love is really unpredictable. She had the social freaking, <laughs> freaking love life that every girl wants. Chances are, your secret love doesn't love you the same way that you love him. But there's also the chance that the one you're in love with is also, is also feeling the same with you. But for all it's worth, love is a win-win game. Despite the many heartbreaks, or the tears you shed in the beginning, at the end of the story you'll always find someone who will love you truly. And someone who will show you, far beyond your expectations, how wonderful love is, by taking the chance to live happily ever after. Aww. Ending credits. <laughs> that was a beautiful game. I honestly love all these colors. Produce studio sprinkles. Sprinkles. Thank you, background music people. You guys are amazing. Honestly, amazing. Aww. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this this end. In the end, we did get Kohi. I thought um, Henry was a choice, but I guess it's not. Because it says enemy. So that's why I thought she would have to pick between these two. But she doesn't. She gets to be with Kohi in the very end. And he's the Mr. DJ guy. I kind of figured. I was really hoping he was the DJ guy, actually. 
And I did expect him to write the letter for her, but he didn't want to tell her. But this this is the end of another visual novel game. Complete stamp stamp done. Done. Totally done. Ah, <sighs> so sad though. But at least she got to be with her guy. I actually finished this. <laughs> Without failing. I don't know if there was a fail ending, but I really enjoyed this game. So if you guys want to play this for yourselves, even though you already kind of know the ending, you still can. I mean, you play it for yourself. You can have an emotional attachment and be all squilly squilly like I just did. By clicking the link below, the download link is there for you guys. And like I've always said at the end of every visual novel, if you guys have any game recommendations for visual novels, then just like shoot it down below in the comment box down there pointing down don't know if you guys point 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 but yeah thank you guys for watching stay beautiful and i'll see you guys next time